Here's something interesting. The amount of salt in all the world's oceans could cover the entire planet in a layer of salt over 500 feet thick. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. And here's something crazier. Not all oceans have the same level of saltiness. The Dead Sea is almost 10 times saltier than the average ocean, while the Baltic Sea is much less salty due to the amount of fresh water flowing in. If you've ever floated effortlessly in the Dead Sea, now you know why. Why aren't rivers salty? If rivers carry salt to the ocean, why don't they taste salty too? The short answer, they don't hold on to salt long enough. Freshwater is always moving. Unlike the ocean, which is stagnant for millions of years, rivers constantly flow, flushing out minerals before they can build up to salty levels. Most river salts end up in the ocean. Even though rivers do have tiny amounts of salt, they're constantly refilled by rainwater, which keeps them fresh. Plants and soil filter out excess minerals. As river water moves through soil and rocks, many minerals get absorbed by plants or trapped in sediments, preventing the kind of salt buildup that happens in oceans. But here's a twist. Some rivers are salty. In extremely hot and dry regions, where water evaporates faster than it flows, rivers can become salty over time. What if the ocean suddenly became fresh water? Would it fix the world's water problems? Or would it create a bigger catastrophe? Here's what would happen. Most ocean life would die. Marine creatures are adapted to saltwater conditions. If oceans suddenly became fresh, their cells would explode due to osmotic shock. Rest in peace, seafood.